to try assigning them to me? We're going to make a fist first and have our arm nice and high and a fist. We're going to put our two fingers up like this, like bunny ears, and then we're going to move our thumb between to make the letter K. K, letter K. Do you know what words begin with the letter K? K makes a k, k, k sound. What words do you think of when they have a k sound? K, 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 k. Those are great ideas. There's a k kite that starts with the letter K. There's ketchup, k, ketchup. That begins with the letter K. There is a kit that begins with the letter K. Keep, k, key, k, kick all begin with the letter K as well. There's k, kind, k, kiss, and k, king. Those start with the letter K. How about k, kayak or k, kangaroo? or cup koala or cup kiwi. Those all start with the letter K too. Well, now that we learned some words that begin with the letter K, let's get warmed up for learning. Wave them around, up so high. Hands down low, touch your toes. Wiggle and giggle, see how it goes. Hands to the side. Now let's clap. Clap and smile in a snap. Hands up front, then back in. Ready to learn, let's begin. Let's do some counting. We're going to start, well actually we're going to count the keys up here. K, keys, key begins with the letter K. Wow, there's a lot of different keys up here. This one's going to be a challenge. It might be hard. Sometimes it's a little scary to do hard things. But you know what? If we try, that helps us learn. And doing hard things helps us learn and get better. So it's really great to do hard things and challenge ourselves. Even if we don't know the whole answer, we're going to learn together today. Are you ready to count with me and be brave and challenge yourself and do hard things? Because hard things help us learn. If you are, give me two thumbs up. Yay, I'm so excited. Let's count together. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, keys, seven keys, eight keys, oh, wow there's so many, nine keys, I can't get that finger up very well, it's too like this, nine keys, ten keys, when I have all of my fingers up that is the number ten, ten keys so far, but you know what? Our keys. We have ten and we have to count two more. Ten keys we've counted, but we have to count two more. I wonder how many keys there will be. Let's continue counting. 
from 10. 11, 12. If we have 10 and we add two more, we get 12. That means that if I were to add it, 10 plus 2 makes 12. There is a to total or a sum of 12 keys. Wow, that's a lot of keys. We counted 12, 12 keys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Get our science caps on, our invisible cap, and grab it, put our science caps on, and get our magnifying glasses out. Now we can look up there and take a look at the different parts of a kangaroo. Did you know that a kangaroo lives in Australia? Isn't that cool? I think so. Well, Take a look at the different parts of our kangaroo's body. Well, although they look very different from our body parts, kangaroos have many parts that are the same as ours. They have a nose, nose, they have eyes, eyes. They have hair, but we often call it fur. They have ears. Ears. They also have arms, and they have legs, just like us. They also have feet, and they have hands, but we usually call them paws. it just comes up only a little bit. Uppercase letter K, lowercase letter K. We're going to draw our koala bear. K -k -k koala bear and it starts with the letter K. 
K O A L A spells koala. Koala. I know this sounds like a W. Koala. Sounds like a W, but it's a one of those words we say. Does that look right if I were to spell it with a K W? Would that look right? Let's see what that would look like. Koala. Does that look right? No, that doesn't look right. So we know it can't be KW, so it's K-O-A-L-A. -A. That looks right. Koala. All right, let's draw our koala. We're gonna start off with an oval for the nose with two nostrils at the bottom. On either side, we're going to draw a circle for a koala's eyes. In each circle, we'll draw a smaller circle for the shine of light. And then we'll color in the eyes dark, leaving just those circles white. Let's draw a little smiley under the mouth. And then we're gonna draw a nice big circle around to make koala's face. We're gonna add two curvy lines up and over on either side for the tops of koala's ears. And then we'll have wavy lines go down and tuck them back in. Just like that to make koala bear's face. So cute. And when you're ready, you can grab your koala bear color. Just find a nice gray. And the color for the snout, I'm gonna do brown or cream. There's a color. And go ahead and color it in. And just like that, your koala is done. Hello! Welcome to Craft Corner. Are you excited for today's craft? Well, we're going to be doing a letter K craft. A letter K craft. We're going to be creating a kite for the letter K. A kite for the letter K. I'm so excited. All right, we're going to need a Color. I'm going to do a red kite and we need a tail color. 
from my little pink tail because I have an extra piece. And we need a boat color, and I'm gonna do blue because I have these extra pieces in my scrap paper bin. So I'm gonna use them. That's why we keep our scraps. All right. We also need some tape to glue it to, to hold it together. And we need two skewers. Two skewers. If you don't have skewers, you can use popsicle sticks or straws or whatever you have. We need some sticks from outside. Something just to hold it together. All right, we're going to take our skewers. We're going to take one down the center. Now it's not as big as the kite paper. Don't worry. We're going to put a piece of tape in the middle to hold it in place. There we go. Now it's rigid. Okay, now the paper doesn't, paper doesn't flop around, but it does flop this way, so we need another piece, of, another skewer. We'll add one across, and this one's going to be bigger than the paper. That's okay. No big deal. There's no big deal when we're inventing things. We just got to try it and see what happens. Make some magic. Don't worry about these things. We're just having fun. Okay, I got my skewers attached with my tape. But now we can see it doesn't look like a kite. We gotta make it a kite color, a kite shape. So we're gonna draw lines from one stick down to the other, diagonal lines, four diagonal lines from each point, and then we'll cut. I'm gonna connect the dots from one point down to the other. Kite shape.
one, two, three. All cut out. I'm gonna glue them down on my table. One, two, three. Bows on my kites. Tail. One, two, three. Bows on my kites. Tail. One, two, three. Bows on my kites. Tail. And if you attach a string to it, it's ready to fly. Hi, my friend. Thank you so much for learning with me today. I am so glad that you joined me. You made my heart full. I hope to see you in our next learning adventure together. Parents and teachers, for more art ideas for kids, visit artastickids.com or for teachers, you can go and find art lesson plans at the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers store by searching Ms. Artastic on TPT. Links below in the description of the video. See you next time.